is completely free. Please just download it right now. Don't even watch this video. It's not interesting or um, worthwhile. Uh, but in the case you do decide to watch, I'd like to talk to you about the um, Neural Amp Modeler. Um, it's a free, I do want to reiterate, this is free plugin. It's a uh, amp modeler in the same sense that the Kemper is, Fractal, Tone X, there's a few of these. Uh, it uses whatever sort of deep learning technology to capture real amps. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty amazing. I, I've been using a uh, Universal Audio Dream, um, which I think sounds great, but it only does a deluxe, and this piece of crap cost me 400 damn dollars. Uh, but it is it does sound pretty nice. This won't replace that, and I'll get into that. But as far as this video goes, um, yeah, I figured I'd just run through a few settings. Uh, please, just uh, just download it. But, you know, ideally this will convince you if my forceful attack on you has not already. But anyway, this is my guitar straight into the interface. I'm using a humble uh, Squire uh, Jazz Master. There's no plug-in right now, this is just DI. Meh. Now I'm going to turn on the Neural Amp Modular. That's Neural, N-U-U-R-L-E, Amp Modular. forgot I'm in drop D. This is modeling a deluxe reverb. To my ear it sounds great. It might sound a little plain to you right now, but what I like doing, really for all of these, so there's no reverb built into any of these amps, so I just throw on a uh, spring reverb plug-in over here. And what I've found works well with all of these amp modelers, whether it's a Strymon, you know, Iridium, My Dream, whatever, it's nice to have a little room reverb, so I'm adding that right now. But uh, beyond that, uh, here we go again. in drop D. So uh, that sounds, honestly, that sounds like a deluxe to me. In fact, if you want to get all stupid and surfy, you could crank this uh, stupid uh, spring reverb I have, and here you go, have fun. That sounds pretty good. I'm sorry, people, but this thing is free and it sounds pretty good. You got to listen to me here. I'm just going to go quick. Um, these, uh, I'm pointing with my, you can't see my hand pointing, but I'm pointing. I have this set up. Each of these is a different amp. You could kind of figure out what's going on by the description. I'm just going to play a little bit on each. Maybe you'll recognize the amp. Maybe I'll put it on the screen so it's not mysterious, but here I go.
hope you were impressed. But what I do want to make clear, I mean, this thing, to my ears, sounds incredibly authentic. This is a going to be a tweed amp. They have an incredibly distinctive sound, sort of an amp exploding kind of thing. This thing, this thing ain't faking it, folks. Just listen. song but anyway i feel like that sounds really good stand by tune the astute watchers out there will see i have one more trick up my sleeve if you run two instances of this at once uh you could use pedals um this is a behringer sf300 model someone made uh I'm sorry, but it sounds like the real thing. I'm I'm truly shocked that it sounds that good. Let me just uh, demonstrate here. I'll start. I'll have the uh, deluxe reverb on, and then I'll, I'll flip on the pedal. I, I don't know how this thing is that good. I'll be totally honest. I mean, um, that's a octave fuzz pedal. It's not like a super straightforward sound. It's got that upper octave. You just heard, uh, you know, you could turn the volume down and it responds just like the real thing um, where the upper octave becomes more pronounced. You do some weird double stops and there's that strange intermodulation noise. I mean, this, this program's mind-blowing, people. I don't understand what's wrong with my audience. I should see the downloads, you know, going through the roof right now. And by the way, why haven't you subscribed? I put out videos nearly three or four times a year. And um, actually, I'll stop being so threatening. You know, um, if I get, I think I'll do a raffle. If I get another 900,000 subscribers within the next year, I'll think about raffling something. So if, please subscribe and help me reach my goal. And thank you. Let me continue the, my video now before I was interrupted by um, intrusive thoughts that I deal with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, oh, I guess let me show you. It takes pedals as well as you'd expect. Let me run. Um, I'll do a little chorus or something, overdrive. Well, I don't know. Strymon Deco. 
I don't know why my pedals are over there, but sorry, folks. Um, so just to give you my thoughts, again, you should just download this thing. Um, I have this piece of crap, Universal Audio Dream. To be honest, it sounds really good. Um, the advantages of this thing is, one, it's free. Two, it has, I mean, an infinite number of amps. Uh, basically, infinite flexibility, for better or worse. You could, you know turn these knobs forever find a different amp after you've recorded it's actually pretty bu uh, pretty brutal if you're mentally ill like myself um it's hard to stick with just one thing you know uh which is what is nice about having the uh sort of physical pedal or real amp you know you kind of physically turn the knob and just stick with it um but i mean this thing sounds sounds amazing um there's a bunch of amp sims and modelers out there where you hear it, you know, guitar rig and some of those. It doesn't sound bad necessarily, but it sounds like this is a clean amp, clean amp with different EQ, overdriven amp, overdriven amp with different EQ. To me, this really sounds like the correct real amps from my uh, perspective. Um, as far as feel, that's subjective. I've found that uh, when people talk about feel of an amp, they're more just talking about being in real life in a room with a real amp with the correct size speaker blasting you in your mouth and eyes and ears. And, well, I won't go there. But, um, you know, so this is just never going to quite sound like an amp or feel like an amp. Sorry, in, in headphones, it just never does. Even if you record a real amp in an ISO booth and you're wearing headphones, it, it's not the same as being in the room. So it's nothing that really recreates that. Maybe if you play this through a, you know, f a PA speaker or something like that, it might work. Um, the problem with that is, um, you know, it's a plug-in. Uh, it's obviously not portable, but beyond that, it, it does use... A decent amount of CPU. I'm not really having too much trouble, but I will um, definitely get some like crackles and stuff like that while playing. That could be a bit distracting and take you out of it. That's that's also why I like having the the Dream uh, Universal Audio Dream. It's outside of my computer, not using any CPU. I don't have the most powerful rig over here. Okay, folks. Despite what you might think. Um, the other thing, I mean, it's a little noisy. It has a built-in gate. Um, as you'll see, I really, I try not to use noise gates. I feel like they sound artificial when the note is supposed to ring out and then the noise comes back in, so I just don't even bother. It's nothing too bad, but I feel like it's noisier than a real amp, maybe, or definitely the Dream. Um... That just seems to be my experience with, with plugins for some reason. I, I couldn't tell you why. Um, beyond that, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, it's free. I mean, it is free, so you should get it. And it's free. And you should subscribe to uh, this. Uh, I guess another thing, I mean, um, because these are all user uploaded things, they, they, they are varying in quality. Uh, again, tonehunt.com, I'll include that link. But, um, you know, inevitably you'll find something. And is it, though, uh, sometimes people have you pay for them, but, you know, most of it is free. Um, and uh, it is free, which helps. And it's also great that it sounds as good as anything um, you could buy. So, I uh, do recommend purchasing it for no money um, immediately. Um, thank you. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, if you want to subscribe, uh, keep watching. Uh, got any questions, I'll admit this isn't, you know, the best video necessarily. So, uh it wasn't really informative, but, um, you know, leave a comment, um, tell me something, and um, subscribe. Um, I am paid by the minute here. I'm just kidding. I'm not spot. I'm going to cut myself off now. Thank you.